Hi, Wenny. Hi, Leah. Have you seen BTS yesterday? Their voice is so unbelievable. Huh? Don't worry, it's not your fault. Misunderstanding can happen not every day. Most of them because of the incorrect language in a way that should be used. In this video, we will talk about the topic reference and inference with their important compound of pragmatics. Starting with the concept of reference in general, we will discuss about referring expression followed by the distinction between referential and attributive use, the role of cortex, and finally the relationship between anaphor and antecedent. First of all, the term reference describes as an act by which a speaker uses a word or words to enable a listener to identify someone or something. That means the speaker uses a specific word that should be identified by listener. This way is called referring expression. Take a look of this picture. Referring expression for types 1. Proper noun 2. Definite non-phrase 3. Indefinite non-phrase 4. Pronounce the choice of the referring expression used by the speaker to assume that the listener already knows. But it will be more difficult if the listener could not understand or identify. When referring to something is difficult, more elaborate noun phrase can be used. The conversation is guess what the speaker try to convey this process is called inference. The listener needs additional knowledge to make sense of what the speaker is talking about. Sometimes it's difficult to find a word, especially when we don't know the exact name for the object or person. But with the right description in everyday language, they can refer to the correct object or person. If we want to refer to something, the idea already had in mind to something that referred to. Here comes the distinction between attributive use and referential use of referring expression. Let's see this illustrate. The local police had reported that no sight of the killer. If the killer has been seen, whatever he or she escaped, this would be a referential use because the speaker knows that the reverend exists. The identity of the killer is completely unknown. This will be in an attributive of use. The speaker does know the reverend exists, but it means anybody who fits the description of the killer. Next is names and reference. Can I borrow your Shakespeare? This is example names of people refer to things. Proper noun like Shakespeare are not exclusively bound to the property person. To tell if it's a noun object or the person is only possible because we have culture specific convention. Proper names and object that will be conventionally associated within a socio culturally defined community with those names. People from other cultures who have never heard of Shakespeare will not know that Shakespeare a book could be mean. This does also apply to artists, musicians, and many more. Take a look for example, things refer to people. The spicy chicken over there wants to pay. It's not that the chicken wants to pay. But the person who just ordered a spicy chicken in restaurant wants to pay. After reading the text, most people would assume that the South Korea team won a sport competition. People doesn't inform South Korea is a country, but it is because the cortex is given which supplies more information about what the referent has done. Changing the cortex would also influence the referent expression like the following sentence. Instead, it is not re referent as about a sport team, but it referent about a country. 
Hydrotoxin reference is called antecedent and the subsequent reference is called anapore. For example, a man and woman were trying to wash a cat. The man was holding the cat while the woman pure water on it. He said something to her and they started laughing. In technical term, the second sequence expression is the anapore and the initial is the end sentence. Anapor reference refer to something mentioned earlier. For example, Bond went to cafe. He was annoyed because it was close. Category reference is the reference to something mentioned later. For the example, the book was there on the table. I'll never read Harry Potter. Anaporic expression do not always refer to same object. For example, peel an onion and slide it. Drop the slide into hot oil. Cook for 3 minutes. This is called zero anapora because it's clearly create an expectation that the listener will be able to infer uh, who or what the speaker tend to identify. Inference is used to get logical and correct reference with additional context for perfect information. The effectiveness of the principle of reference depends on the social closeness and the shared knowledge of the speaker and the listener. The more knowledge they're sharing, the easier will it be for them to make reference. Communication can be a very complicated act in which the speaker could not use language in a proper way. But if they share information and knowledge, it much easier and enjoyable for both parties. Coming back to our example at the beginning of this video. Hi Leah, have you seen BDS concert yesterday? Their voice is so unbelievable. Really? Oh well, I'm not into K-pop anyway.